Number one, I don't think we're going to eradicate coronavirus ever. I think it's going to be with humankind forever. Um, secondly, I think we may get to a point where coronavirus becomes a seasonal problem. I don't want to draw too many parallels with flu, but possibly that is the kind of way we would learn to live with it. And the third point is, do I think there will come a big moment where we kind of, you know, have a massive party and throw on masks and hand sanitizer and say, that's it, it's behind us, like the end of the war? No, I don't. I think those kind of habits that we've learned from that clearly stop the spread of other respiratory viruses, such as flu, will perhaps persist for many years. And that, that may be a good thing if they do. Um, yes, that may be a good thing. Or on the other hand, we may want to get back to life as pretty much as close to normal. But, you know, they, I mean, I, 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 anyway, uh, I, hope, I have high hopes that, the, uh, that uh, eventually the vaccine will make a, a, a very, very significant difference to the way we, uh, we, live our, we live our life. So, Harry, I'd like to come back because I do like to be um, challenged when I have perhaps not made myself clear and the Prime Minister has picked me up on this occasion and it's quite no, all right. I, in didn't, public. I didn't mean to challenge a, No, no, but it's quite all right because it gives me a chance to clarify what I mean here. I do not think the government will continue to have to recommend social distancing, masks and hand sanitizer forever and a day. I hope we will get back to a much more normal world. But the point I was trying to make was, do I think possibly some of those personal habits for some people will persist longer and perhaps become enduring for some people? Yes, I think that's possible. As in, as in, as in the Far East. Yes. Yeah. No. Yeah. Well, who knows? Who knows? Um, thank you very much, everybody. That's uh, that uh, concludes the, the session for today. Thanks, Harry.